everyone, I'm Tefal and welcome to my first tutorial. In this part you will get to know how you can create new project, how you can create new blueprints actors and put them into the scene and add new object procedurally to them. Uh, then in 3D Studio Max I will show you how you can create static meshes and import them uh, straight to your Unreal Engine. And finally well, I will show you some tips about copy-pasting data from different sources and applying materials into your static meshes. So I hope you enjoy and have fun. Okay, so right now I'm going to create new project, call it Tutorial. And it is going to be blank empty project without any C++ code. Okay. <clears throat> and first of all, I would like to create new folder tutorial. And inside new blueprint actor chess board. Okay. So if I put inside my scene, there is nothing here yet, even if I put it into the middle, if I change some details to the middle, it's exactly in this place, but there is nothing here yet. So basically I need to go inside my blueprint, construction script, and add static mesh component. And it's going to be my first component. So I need to select which type it should be. It's going to be floor 400 by 400. If I compile and leave relative transform empty, it's uh, in the middle of the stage without any transform location, rotation, or scale. So we have one element, but we need 64 like chessboard. So we just need to repeat that 64 times. So we need loop from 0 to 63. Okay, but we need also transform location. Yeah. So how we can compute this coordinates, x and y. So we need to divide by 8. And this is x coordinate. And uh, rest from division, uh, reminder from division by 8. And this is y uh, coordinate. So I just need to multiply by 400. It's because floor is 400 by 400 and do the same with second variable, I, I mean. Yeah. And finally I can make my uh, vector, it's 3D vector, so I just apply x and y, and into relative transform. So right now, if I compile, it should work. But wait a moment, why it's so big and why uh, there is no color, red, uh, black and white? Yeah, because there is no material. So I go to materials, I take my basic wall, this is like white, and I create copy. And it's going to be black. So I go inside my white material and change color from white to almost black. And save, apply, okay, and close. So I get two types of materials, white and black. But I need to select so I just use select and change type to material. And right now I can drag and drop these two type uh, materials. And I have white and black. But I need some condition. When it should be black and when it should be white. And it's going to be boolean type. So I can set material, mm, maybe from component, set material. But I didn't set a uh, condition. So when it should be black or when it should be white, we need to think about this problem. So index, we need to reminder of division by two. And how it works, I think it should be lines in one direction. And we can check compile. Yeah, and we have lines in one direction. To get lines in second direction, we just need to divide by 8 before we just get a reminder of uh, division by 2. So we get reminder and 
when we just link this, we get in different direction. We can check this out one more time. Compile, yeah. So how can we can apply this one? And when a boolean type switch to opposite when it's true and stay the same when it's false. Which logic function uh, provide this? Provide this. Mm. If you think about or function, you're wrong. If you think about and or NAND function, you're wrong. Yeah, of course, it's XOR function. If you have some logic in basic school, it's simple like that. So if you compile, you get chessboard. But wait, wait a moment. Where are chess figures? There is only empty board. It's the same here. So we just need to go to uh, 3D Studio Max. Just make it bigger. Um, okay. And we are going to create some uh, objects, 3D models. So I'm going to create palm and it's going to be sphere and let's let's move move it to the middle and it's our palm. I think it's it looks really nice. So I call it palm. Okay and export without animation and so that uh, just scale centimeters. It should be exact size. So this is my pawn. I can move it uh, just to the top. I can make my bishop, for instance. Okay. So right now I need rock. So it can be extend uh, primitives. And hose, I think it will be good enough, like this, and of course to the middle. So I export uh, its rook, and I need uh, three more. So I need a queen, knight, and king. So maybe knight, it will be um, maybe 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 depot. It's going to be really funny. Okay, so this is my knight. Okay. And I need two more, so maybe without any... Uh, sorry, so the cylinder will be... Okay, so this is my... Just to the middle. Okay, export. Wrong. Yeah, import. Mm, export. And it's queen and king. Okay, let's create some. Okay. Mm, okay. Let's move this here. Okay. Uh, move to the middle. Uh, Okay, and it's like this. It looks really nice. Okay, it's like king. So export. Uh, it's quite laggy because I'm recording. So it's king. So we have all necessary necessary uh, objects, uh, 3D models. I can go export all tutorials and I can just drag and drop and put inside my Unreal Engine into folder tutorial. So import all. It should be like this. Tutorial Bishop, King, Knight, Pawn, Queen and Rook. So I have all my figures. But how can I put it inside my table? I need to go to graph. I can just use se sequence. So this is my first step. And second step going to be just add static meshes. But I need to add all static meshes. So instead of just finding add static mesh and 
doing everything manually. I just drag and drop and I get all static meshes here right now. So I get all. But first of all I need to create table with with data yeah about where should be pan, where should be bishop, etc. So I just make variable and it's it will be array of integers and start uh, figures. So it is it's integer, just array. So but I need to fill this compile. I can do it manually, but it took too much time just putting one 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 as pawn. I can do it uh, more intelligent, I can say, just opening Excel. But first of all, I need to, if you don't know, I just want to use Notepad. And I can copy that uh, array and change the uh, pattern of this. So if I paste, it's just a round bracket, and inside we have some values, yeah? So we need to repeat that in huge scale. So I need to fill this. So it will be rack, knight, bishop, um, five, six, it's a queen and king, then four, three, two, and eight times one, yeah? So to 16. And we need to do the same in the middle, uh, in the lower part. Uh, it will be 57, yeah, and 1, 2, it's, yeah, good, yeah, it's 8, so we have all necessary data, and we can copy and paste, it is a special paste and transposition, and we got uh, all necessary data, we just copy this into notepad, and we can replace that small gap, like this sign, adding this, and uh, okay, and finally we get all necessary data, and we can paste, and we got everything what sh uh, what we need. Yeah, we can compile, and now we just need to get this uh, table, get depending on the uh, index, and switch on int switch in feature and uh, we don't need default uh, value we just need 0 as empty 1 as pan second as rack and we need to connect just this so basically okay maybe I connect this so first is pan where is pan okay second one is uh, rook Third one is uh, knight. Next one is bishop. We need one more. Uh, then is queen and king is last one. Okay. So like that, we have all necessary figures on the table uh, on the chessboard. But it's stuck. Why? Because we didn't set transform. If we get this transform, I think it will be in the corner, but we can try. Okay, so we take this and let's check this out. Compile. Yeah, like I said, it's all in the corner. So basically, we have to move to the middle, so adding 200, 200. But we can just uh, take this here and take this and add another vector 200 by 200 and this is like that we get uh, sorry no I should um, put it here yeah it should be more like okay so right now we have everything what, what we need. So this is black. It's because black. So we basically need to apply just the color of these elements. So 
we need to select one of uh, these. So if index is higher than, let's say, 30, it's mm, almost in the middle, we need to select, is the same, select uh, one of these textures. So we're going to, it's recording, okay. Uh, yeah, and we need, we need to drag and drop. Mm, materials, white, like I said, all right. white and black, mm, not material. Mm. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Material, okay, just need to drag uh, white and black. Okay, and every figure has to be one of these two colors. So we need to set material for every uh, every object here, and it should work just like that. But we need to repeat that. Set material. Set material. Set material for every kind of object and we need to link this I don't see much but this is just our selection so this is just our material okay and it should work I apply to the every element just compile and we have white and black we can switch colors. It's going to be black, and this is going to be white. Compile. It's simple like that. I have black. We can check a you know, huge scene, and this is black. This is white. It works just like that. We have some nights. Yeah, and everything works just perfectly. Mm -hmm.